damn, Jimmy, this some serious gourmet shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried tasteless choice, right? <laughs> and he brings this serious gourmet shit on us. What flavor is this? Knock it off, Julie. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the dead nigger in my garage. Oh, Jimmy, don't even worry well, no, about no, no, it. No, 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 Cause it ain't there. Cause storing dead niggers ain't my fucking business. That's why. Well, Jimmy, we're not gonna store them. Don't you fucking realize, man, that if Bonnie comes home and finds a dead body in her house, I'm gonna get divorced. All right, no marriage counseling, no trial separation. I'm gonna get fucking divorced, okay? And I don't want to get fucking divorced. So, man, you know, fuck. I mean, I want to help you, but I, I don't want to lose my wife doing it. All right? Jimmy, Jimmy, she ain't gonna leave. Don't me. fucking Jimmy me, Jules. Okay? Don't fucking Jimmy me. There's nothing that you're gonna say that's gonna make me forget that I love my wife. Is there? Now look, you know, she comes home from work in about an hour and a half. The graveyard shift at the hospital. You gotta make some phone calls. You gotta call some people. Well then do it. And then get the fuck out of my house before she gets here. Hey, that's cool in the gang. You know, we don't wanna fuck your shit up. All I wanna do is call my people, get them, bring us in, that's all. You don't want to fuck my shit up. You're fucking my shit up right now. You're gonna fuck my shit up big time if Bonnie comes home. So just do me that favor, all right? The phone is in my.